Yeah, I gotta get a selfie stick for the phone. Good morning, everybody. Black guy dipping here. Chad Harris, Chad Films, Chad Xavier, or whatnot. Shout out Tom and Pools, you bitches. Yeah, anyway. So, you know, you know, yeah. Walk up to Tom and Pools on West Jonesboro Road, right? Ride through that dusty ass place. And you see it's all clean and shit. I cleaned that shit, nigga. Real shit, I cleaned so much shit there. It was so fucking bad when I got there. By the time I left, like, just three months later. Three months. Four months. And that shit was looking... Like, spotless. Like, you could just... You could see all the way down. Like, it was a construction yard, so it was just filled with shit. After I was done with it, you could just see everything. Everything was just, you know what I'm saying? I had that shit looking so fucking good, so Gucci. And everybody at that job was drinking Modelo's and smoking weed. And I never knew what they were gonna have me doing. So I was like, I, I'll drink a beer when I'm about to get off. Save one for me, please. You know what I'm saying? Whole sway, you feel me? Save me a Modelo. But when I get off this bitch, you know what I'm saying? Smelling like chemicals all day. It's fiberglass pool. So I'm just smelling like bullshit all day. You know what I'm saying? You smell like blue goo, nigga. You feel me? Got blue sticky shit on me. And just my clothes just rancid. They, they gave me a bag of clothes and shit. I'm like, I'm wearing this to work. And this dirty ass shit, man. I'm not wearing none of my clothes. I'm wearing this shit. Just get all stained, blue sticky shit. I'm like, resin acetone i'm like what the fuck is going on here bro y'all niggas bury your bodies back here bro what the fuck y'all niggas got going on I'm using the acetone to clean my glasses because this chemical is getting on my lens can't see shit yeah like uh jurassic park and shit nah, right and shit i'm gonna i'm gonna run over you when i come back down here you know what oh really fat boy <laughs> you know what i'm saying is that so so uh I'm tired as fuck, bro. Nigga, let me tell you, I had one of them dumb things happen last night where, like, get home, I eat, I'm fucking faded. So I'm out of energy, about to crash. I'm sitting on the bed, feet on the ground. I lean back, bro. I'm like, don't lean back, bro. Get up. Got up. I lean back again. I'm like, bro, don't lean back, bro. You didn't, you didn't plug up your phone, or I don't know if I plugged up my phone, and... I didn't take off my shoes, so I didn't take off any of my other clothes. Woke up, checked my phone, it's four in the morning. I gotta get up at six. I'm like, oh no, I got two hours to sleep with my clothes off. Oh no. I pulled one of those, I was like, oh no. You know what I'm saying? Like, real talk, if you gonna come home drunk, just come home naked. You know feel me? Just ready for bed. Fuck this. Real shit. Fuck around, wake up on the floor. So, anyway, uh, we were talking about Forex and shit. I had to upload the video because I'm out of space on my phone, so I have to upload every video and then come back and do it again. So, so boom. So I just went on during that time. I went on Amazon.com and just ordered two fucking 128 gigabyte flash drives. It, it comes in a two pack for fifteen dollars ninety seven cents. So it's like sixteen thirty eight. Uh, seventeen thirty eight. Right. I'm sorry. So, I'm sorry. Haha. <laughs> So uh, it, it comes out to that. So I bought two of them, 128 gigabytes twice. That's 260 gigabytes minus like four. So 156 gigabytes to some shit. Boom, uh, 256 gigabytes, sorry. So um, that's just a start because honestly, that's half of what I could pay for a two terabyte hard drive. So I wanna have the flash drives for like what I'm using personal use. The hard drive would be for real backup and shit. Like I never use it. Never use the hard drives again. I always keep those stored away. And everything that's on the hard drive must be on the internet as well. There cannot be anything on the hard drive that's not on the internet that's not released. You have to have it released. That way there is a backup if you lose the hard drive. You cannot have unreleased files on the hard drive anymore. Like that's too valuable. That's your bread and butter. All, all the files have to be immediately uploaded to YouTube, all the video files. So we're not going to do audio files anymore. That's why I'm just doing these blogs, vlogs, and we we'll do day in the lives. We'll do, like, uh, you know, just, you know what I'm saying? Like, like that, that's why I'm doing everything I'm doing now, just straight videos. 
And uh, it's a lot of audio stuff that I want to do, like just talking about shit. I'm going to have to just do it on video. You know, video is a different thing. And because with audio, you can wake up at 2 in the morning, bro, and just grab the recorder and just go. You be in your bed, you be butt naked, nothing. Video is video. They see you, so you have to, like, prepare for it. You have to be camera ready. Not, niggas not always camera ready. So I'm like, I'm Chad Films. I need to be camera ready all the time. So I got to really get my bread up so I have, like, fresh clothes and keep a bag full of new clothes to always change into throughout the day if I need to and shit so like I'm sweaty I could just shower and have a bag full of clothes you know I'd be thinking about that like I'm gonna have a shower bag full of like brand new outfit you know just Walmart shit white shirts khakis slats just work clothes look like I'm working just have like some work shit and sports coat and just a tie and button up and just some real nice Walmart shit I'm just gonna like go to Walmart and just make custom three-piece suits basically build my own three-piece suits all right pants boom shirt button up tie maybe um sport coat then a vest you know what i'm saying boom and then and then i'll, I'll start going to amazon and i'm gonna buy metallic button-ups metallic button-ups boom I have a metallic button-up with a michael jackson jacket and some regular uh slacks or even the billy jean or thriller pants i can get both of those for, for about fifty dollars uh billy jean or thriller pants so boom go ahead and do that and uh we're just getting ready for them to pull up soon and we have 12 minutes left to record so we're just chilling enjoying the day trying to do this on a regular basis get back in the groove i have to make up for 2,000 gigabytes i lost 5,000 gigabytes so i have to make up for that that's 10 years worth of work you know what i'm saying so how fast can i build up 5,000 gigabytes so that's why i'm just buying the 128 gigabyte flash drives until i get the 2,000 gigabyte um hard drives just done the hard drives then i'll be good so now with my uh the flash drive is going to get here tomorrow. When it gets here, I'll probably give one to my niece because I told her I, I would get her one. Since it comes in a two-pack, boom, give her one. Then get paid again, buy another one, boom. And then I'll just keep, keep them from there. And I'll make sure she has space. And then when she gets to the level to where she's like maxing them out, then I'll get you another one. When this shit is done, then I'll get you another one. How long is it going to take you to finish this shit up? Because I'm about to knock out this 100 gigabytes in like a month. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna knock that shit the fuck out, watch. So now I got my 100 gigabytes, I'm about to load that bitch the fuck up. So, so boom. Um, then I'll start buying those two packs and I'll use one for a backup. Everything that's on the on one will be on the other, but any file on any of them will have to be on the internet. So they're all gonna be video, no audio for now, because I don't really have a website to just like upload them to. Just do it on fucking YouTube, bro. And then pretty soon, you'll be able to, um, edit videos again you got to get an edit a video editing software really what you're thinking about doing is just buying an iphone off of amazon just buying the used iphone that has iMovie on it and just making iMovie uh, videos on your iphone boom do it like that get this other lens for 40 dollars that you can put over the iphone or the android you're gonna buy this other android for 50 dollars like just a smartphone chat phone just for the camera because this is my regular phone it's an old phone I, I need a regular new phone anyway this battery be dying on me so I have to get a new phone just for uh, for cameras and shit too. So I'm gonna buy a chat phone for camera, get an iPhone for the camera, so I can use iMovie as well and make all those uh, files and then try to put the files. You know, yeah, I don't know how to take the files from one and put it on my iPhone or some shit. So I'll see if I can do it like that. But I just do it like that, you know. So about a hundred. I got the 200 gigabytes, 260 gigabytes. So now we're good. Now what that means is on my laptop, because that's out of space too, on my laptop now, I'm Gucci. And I can record videos using a webcam now. I can just go outside, plug in the flash drive, and uh, make a video, upload it, save it on the hard drive, delete it off the, um, the computer. Save them all on the hard drive, and then everything that's on the hard drive, put it up, and just start doing more and more um, video. And then... Um, I'll just figure it out because I'm trying to think like I, I lost the video footage that's 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 easy get more video footage the audio footage I'm like uh, I lost it because I didn't even have a place to really upload it like I had a few sites to upload it and shit you know what I'm saying so I lost so many files bro like 5,000 gigabytes but that's like 10 years worth of work like real shit like like that was an entire career for death like like real shit I right, look Tupac, right? Like Tupac Shakur, like they look at him as a legend. He is, right? And it's like 
one of the most legendary things about him, his legacy and shit, is the fact that he got out of prison, signed with Death Row for nine months, and made the majority of the music that came out after he died. There were only a few albums that he made before Death Row or some shit, you know what I'm saying? Um, not the major ones, I just mean like out of all the shit that came out after he died, most of that came from the nine months in Death Row, that's what I'm saying. Like he didn't have those songs before he signed with Death Row. Nigga signed with Death Row. You know what it is. I just signed with Death Row. These niggas are called Death Row. I'm not getting out of here alive. Snoop had to body a nigga. Dre had to go upstairs, suck dick, and eat pussy. You feel me? I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, bro. You know? Because, like, it's, it's crazy. Because you see how, like, Tupac was like, oh, Quincy Jones said you want me to come upstairs and fuck him in the ass, right? And then um, he's like, I don't get down like that, right? And then next thing you know, um, Quincy Jones is with Will Smith and Benny Medina and Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Boom. Fresh Prince, uh, Will Smith's first film for Independence Day was actually Six Degrees of Separation, where he had to sleep with a gay white dude. Boom. So that just, like, it, it, it works. It's like, Tupac didn't want to fuck with you. Will Smith fucked with you. And then he did that fucking gay-ass movie first. He had to do that shit first. Then... We get this thing everything once. Now you get Men in Black. Like, think about the pitch meeting. All right, all right, Will Smith. All right, look, so we're going to give you, uh, we're going to give you fucking uh, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. We're going to give you, uh, and then after Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, we're going to give you Independence Day. We're going to give you Bad Boys. We're going to give you Men in Black, one, two, and three. We're going to give you Wild Wild West because you're going to turn down the Matrix trilogy. Then uh, we're going to put your wife in the Matrix trilogy after Leah dies. Boom. Then we're going to give you... Legend of Bag of Vans, Ali. Uh, I do not want to go through this dude's discography. Filmography, I'm sorry, but he does have a discography. Ha ha ha. So, anyway, so, um, yeah, so it's like that, bro. It's like that. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else was I saying? Um, I got the 100 gigabytes, so now we're good. I can make all the videos and shit. Um, I have to think about what I'm going to do about the audio. Like, I'm just going to have to say that type of shit on video like how i used to do my that's how i'm trying to think like, i used to do a lot of audio all right we got to do like podcasts basically you see that yeah it's like you know what i'm saying we got to turn the audio into like a creative podcast like a like in the booth session kind of thing where you see me that there we go that's the next step i've i've you know fixed up the whole uh how to create audio impromptu making up shit right but i never filmed myself doing that shit my audio never got filmed if it you know what i'm saying if i was filming it the film itself had an audio source but the, but i never filmed myself recording on audio you know what i'm saying like never film myself in the booth so i start filming myself you know um even if i get an audio recorder and i have a camera set up and I could have the audio recorder in my hand and film myself doing it. I'll still have the audio files and I could upload the audio files somewhere. I'll find somewhere to upload them. But there has to be a video source of me creating the audio or whatever. So that's what I'm working on, man. Um, it's Friday, the market closes today. I'm excited because I just want to uh, get this right, hold down the hourly MACD and RSI all day, basically all week. Like whatever the hourly MACD RSI is, that's your weekly direction, bro. You're never going to have to go in the opposite direction. Any trades in the opposite direction will not last because it's going to keep going up on an hour-to-hour -hour basis. That's what that's trying to tell you. The hourly chart is full of hourly candles. Hourly MACD and RSI are green. It's telling you on an hour-to-hour -hour basis it's going to be going up and up and up and higher and higher. So any sells, it won't sell lower than where you place the sell at. You know what I'm saying? If you place the sell here, it might not ever touch there again. Real shit. So what else we got? We got something else. Uh, I don't know. What else we got? Um, I'm excited. The hard drive comes tomorrow. So the flash drive comes tomorrow. So I can go ahead and do that. And get back on just editing. Well, not editing, but back on just filming videos. And uh, just film non-stop now. Now we can go non-stop crazy. And I was thinking about what I'm going to do about recording the audio for the monologue for the films I'm writing. Because I have to write some films to put on Netflix and shit like that. So I was like, that's an official product. The audio source should be as professional as I can. So I got to find a studio somewhere. When I write everything, I got to find a studio somewhere where I could just pay the money for that shit. And just fucking um, maybe just go to the studio and record that shit. Hopefully the trading will pop up by then and I can like buy my own um, 
Apple laptop and the mic and Pro Tools and all that stuff, it would be very expensive, but I'll be able to do it. And then that would be the only way. Like, I have to actually get my own Pro Tools studio so I can, uh, and then I can have iMovie on my laptop. Yeah, I gotta go ahead and get a Mac, bro, so I can, um, um, record my own audio and then find someone who's an engineer to engineer it or start studying how to engineer my own sound myself and just because it's just talking I'm not you know rapping music or anything so I might have to just engineer it myself and try to play around with it and study shit and just see what's up but I'm thinking that's what I have to do bro it's just edit I mean actually record on the Pro Tools studio the monologue and then Cause that's what the movie is. The movie is the monologue, me reading the monologue. So I need to be like in that booth setting so it's quiet and then the quality should be good. And just do it like that. Uh, we're about to cut out in like a minute or two minutes. Then I have to upload this one. So yeah, I'm excited. I can get back to making these videos now. I was running out of space on everything. And I just have to grab my, uh, I have to buy a new camera phone so I can just do the YouTube videos on there and buy a few more and start doing other shit. And just keep doing these YouTube videos while I'm writing this, uh, the script, figure out where I'm going to record the script at. And I'm going to have to get the money in to record that shit. And, uh, it should be straight though because the trade is about to pop off, bro, and I'll be able to fund everything. And the money's going to come so fast in a whirlwind. Gonna make a thousand dollars in a day, buy the Mac in a day, make a thousand the next day, buy everything else I need for it, make a thousand the next day. In all reality, by that time, I'll be making like ten thousand in a day because I'm gonna have a thousand in the account, leave a thousand on there, and bring in ten thousand on that shit. Then it's just gonna be a wrap at that point. I'm gonna break my mom off, make sure she's good, and just keep her good, and that's how. The family will know that I'm on top now because my mom will be super duper good. But like, mom, where'd you get this from? Oh, shit. Uh, the car paid off? Who paid off the car? What the fuck? Chad paid it off. How Chad paid off the car? What the fuck? Oh, where'd you get this from? Whoa. You got a house or you got a loft? Like, I'm going to take care of my mom first before I take care of um, a woman I don't know, you know, and have a kid with her. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm going to uh, look out for my mom, make sure she's good. And uh, after that, then, uh, you know, do my thing so my royal oats so thank you all you have a great day i got one minute left just wanted to let you know at some point it's gonna cut off uh shit man so they're about to pull into work right now motherfuckers all right, i gotta go bye have a great day